Hey everyone, Logan Baker here with Shutterstock Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a very brief, very simple look at some of the most popular NLEs out there right now. So Premiere, Final Cut, and DaVinci Resolve. Um, so yeah, let's hop in. So this is going to be the basic layout of Premiere. You've got your media pool right here. This is everything you've imported into your project. So video clips, audio tracks, titles, effects, what have you. And then you have your source monitor. So you're going to bring a clip that you've imported into your source monitor right here. And then from here, you're going to edit the clip down just a little bit. So we're going to, I just want until they shake hands right there, cut out, then you're gonna bring it down into your timeline. So when you do this, you will notice that it comes up on your program monitor. Now what this is, is a way for you to see what your video looks like before you've exported or finished it completely. So imagine as kind of a preview window, the program monitor being the final product. So another cool part of Premiere is the Shutterstock plugin. So whether you're working uh, on corporate videos, music videos, narrative work, and you need a shot of a city or a mountain or whatever, so what you want to do is pull up Window, Extensions, Shutterstock. Um, it'll only be there if you download the plugin. Remember, link in the description. So uh, the cool thing is you can move it to any part of Premiere. So if you want to put it in wherever, Premiere lets you kind of add it wherever is kind of an easy spot for you. I like to put it on the far right and then kind of bring it down to a more manageable size. But what you get is a search. So if I want to search um, Gorilla, it will come up and say I want this clip. So I will click on it and then say insert preview. So what it'll do is it'll bring it over here in your media pool. And let's say, so it'll have the watermark on it because you haven't licensed it yet, but it's pretty simple to do so. And let's just take the clip and bring it into our timeline. So now let's look at Final Cut Pro X, shall we? So here's Final Cut, kind of the same idea. You've got your program monitor over here. You've got your video tracks down here with the clips over on the side to kind of let you know what you've imported. Up here, you've got a little project management area showing the clips that you've downloaded and what all you have currently on this project. So, and then over here, you've got photos that you can import, uh, music that you've made on GarageBand, music from iTunes, and then Final Cut offers um, all of these sound effects that you can throw into your project. Uh, so just right now we can, uh, let's, let's see, let's throw on uh, whale sounds because nothing says whale sounds like business. Yeah, there we go. And then on the visual side, if we highlight a clip, it offers a little more uh, possibility to kind of play with the clip how you want, uh, moving the rotation back and forth, cropping, uh, Final Cut's answer to the warp stabilizer in Premiere, the stabilization. Um, so it just gives you a little room to play with the image how you see fit. So that's Final Cut Pro X. It's a fairly simple program to learn. Uh, if you're just starting out, I would try starting with this one, honestly. And, uh, and yeah, let's move on to DaVinci Resolve 14. Here's DaVinci Resolve. As you can tell, it looks a lot like Premiere. You've got your preview monitor on the left, program monitor on the right. Over here, you've got the media that you've imported. I've brought in our favorite clip that we all know and love of these two boys shaking hands, making some business happen. So for this clip, I already made my selection using the same shortcuts I used in Premiere. Side note, DaVinci Resolve asks you which shortcuts you wanna use, whether it be Final Cut or Premiere, so it knows that you're most likely new to the program and have been using ed other editing softwares. Good job, DaVinci. So the real selling point for DaVinci Resolve is this tool down here that kind of lets you play with and edit your images however you see fit. So over here, you've got a little more control and you can see every, kind of like on that left part of the Final Cut uh, window, you can see everything that you're working with, uh, whether it be audio, video, effects, titles, what have you. Here's your basic edit where you'll be doing all the cutting of the clips and whatnot. The color is specifically for color grading. It's a lot like the Lumetri panel in Premiere, uh, but I think it gives you way more control. The Fairlight part is essentially their answer to Adobe Audition, and apparently you can add like up to a thousand audio tracks or something, which is insane. Uh, but basically, if you want to add a bunch of sound effects or 
control your soundtrack however much you need to. This is where you're gonna go. And at the end, you've got this nice little rocket ship with deliver. And so this is gonna be all of your exporting options. Um, anywhere you wanna export Vimeo, YouTube, uh, QuickTime, whatever, you can do it here. Um, pretty standard for any NLE. So that's pretty much it for DaVinci Resolve. It's a pretty complex program that offers it and presents it in a pretty simplistic way. I imagine that it's gonna take on pretty soon and people are gonna be using it more and it might end up costing. So get on that while you can. So I hope you enjoy this rapid fire run through of your favorite NLEs. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.